Now, Diageo PLC owns liquor brands like Johnny Walker, Spoonoff, Captain Morgan, Bailey's, Tanqueray, Guinness, J&B, and Bells. Wow, what a brand portfolio. So this is a British company formed from the combination of Guinness and Grand Metropolitan in about the year 2000. Diageo was the made-up name, but these companies go back to the kind of 18th century. And, you know, people like Johnny Walker and so on uh, were the guys that actually started the business. And the guy that started Guinness was probably some, you know, Irishman. Market cap like here, $63.4 billion, P.E. ratio of 23.4, and currently paying no dividends. Again, let's look really? at that share price. Is it paying a dividend? Let me check my notes here. Dividend I have yield. a dividend yield of 3%. But anyway, there is it. Where is it? Dividend yield. No, that looks strange. That is very odd. That looks strange, yeah. Three anyway, we'll we should have, have bought, bought, bought this one if it was 38 <laughs> But look how well the share chart is uh, running. Similar trend, in effect, to LVMH. And here's an interesting side fact. They actually own 34% of Moet Hennessy. So through an accident of history, Diageo, London listed, actually owns 34% of the liquor business of LVMH we were just talking about. So they're making off of this as well. Oh, well, there we go. We're mm. endorsing that uh, share, aren't mm. we? Certainly, which is fantastic. If you look at their share chart, uh, uh, it basically tells about their sales in terms of their volume last year. 14, far much above their five average of about four. So certainly, I think there's something going in uh, on there for, for, for them. Um, and certainly, it does look for me, um, it might be able to sustain that momentum. You know, how do you choose, though? So mm. you know, here we are, LVMH, we, we've uh, built hot. Mm -hmm. We're coming to Diageo, which has got a very strong story behind it. As you say, the performance really mirroring that from what we're seeing from LVMH. So how would you make a choice between the two? Well, I don't know. I mean, there if are... If you had the cash, of course. There are, of course, differences. So, you know, LVMH is more of a luxury goods base, so that's a little bit higher up in terms of its target market, perhaps. This is kind of fairly broad-based and global, so I suppose that would be part of it. There are trends and threats to the business, since you put it that way. Remember, branded goods traditionally have been sold with a very advertising-heavy and very commission-driven sales distribution force. But we know that there have been certain shifts in consumer goods where people are beginning to sell things via the web, internet, subscriptions, and so on and so forth. So that's something perhaps just to keep an eye on. Definitely. But mm. are we going to call this one hot as well? What do you say, Joseph? I think I'll keep it hot as well. I mm. mean, yeah, the hot. fact is that 34% there, but I think if you just look in terms of um, their uh, last reported uh, results and the share chart, you know, take away everything that happened prior to 2016, there seemed to be good momentum there. And uh, you refer to the diverse portfolio, yeah, very diverse strong portfolio brands in Reports in, in pounds, so it does have and will benefit slightly from the pound weakness because of the whole Brexit thing. But really, I think these guys just continue to roll it out. And around the world, you know, people still give each other bottles of Johnny Walker to celebrate this, that and the other. They're benefiting from this stuff. They have a brand leading position in just about every category. You know, vodka, Smirnoff, rum, Captain Morgan, tequila, Don Julio, liqueur, Baileys. No, you can't argue. And you see that e e everywhere. Guinness. And I mean, once they have a brand that says keep on walking, I'm not saying keep on drinking, but certainly <laughs> I think it does <laughs> good for them. Very visible. And, and mm. again, steeped in history, as mm -hmm. you pointed out earlier. So, so we're going hot.